Well, uh, with me now in the studio, Sean Berry, a co-founder of the Green Party and, of course, Green Party candidate for the uh, London mayoralty uh, this year. So tell me, uh, I mean, I pretty much know you're going to say this isn't <laughs> enough, but uh, but are they travelling, excuse the pun, in the right direction? At I, I mean, I'm, we've got to bring buckets of salt with us when we're, when we're assessing these claims. I mean, it's quite clear why Heathrow, uh, the business that runs Heathrow, would want to be greenwashing its credentials at the moment. It ah. knows that its big third runway Greenwashing, you mean it's, it, it's window threat. dressing, it's PR. It is. I mean, look at the... I mean, you did a really good job there of laying out what is and isn't included. And basically, I, I mean, I when I first read their press release, I assumed it also meant that the shop's operations within the airport were covered by this pledge. But it's not even that. I mean, they're not even pledging to be the greenest shopping centre in the world. And they're not counting the flights, obviously, but they're also not counting the transport to the airport that people take, the number of cars driving to the airport. Everything that that airport is, is, is there to enable to happen is very, very far from well, well, carbon well, neutral and think, getting but, well, worse. Well, the, the, the tiny part of it that's their own operations being carbon okay. neutral is, is great, but a tiny drop in the ocean. Well, one would imagine they particularly impact. touched on it there. It's the transport to the airport that they'd have most influence over. I'm sure they, they're going to argue that it's franchised, all the shopping there, and of course, what can they do? What well, can they, they do about they the airlines? The Maybe buildings, they could, they could yeah, yeah, lead well, the way, couldn't well, they? And make, make the shops well, go carbon okay, neutral. Okay, rebuild as well. them, I suppose. Let's talk about, though, the, the cars and the huge amounts of parking that are there. I mean, would yeah. you like to see that band all together and say, you've got to get to Heathrow either by a no emission vehicle or by public transport. Yeah, and this is another reason why we can't have the third runway. The impacts on tr surface travel to the airport are absolutely huge. And Heathrow themselves are not planning to pay for any of that. They're expecting the rest of us, um, most of us who don't fly in any given year, the average person doesn't fly in a normal year. We are going to be paying billions and billions for putting the motorway underneath the runway is what they want. We're going to have to build new railway lines and massively in increase the public transport infrastructure for that. When I Actually, in London, you know, as mayor, I want to increase public transport infrastructure to help people get to work, to get to the shops, what about, to, to relieve other problems that people have with car dependency. What about, I mean, everyone thinks about any airport and everyone thinks about, say, when it comes to emissions, about the aircraft. And uh, I just said there, well, in no position to do anything about those. They, they obviously don't, don't run the airlines. But, of course, they charge some landing fees and uh, they could discourage the airlines from using the uh, the more gas guzzling aircraft and switch as quickly as possible they one could. imagines they could and they talked about joining international efforts to reduce the impact of flights as well well the biggest international effort we need is an international agreement to tax aviation fuel which isn't mm. even paying the same rates of duty as we do for our own cars and but you could and have buses. different different landing fees for for different classes of aircraft you, you, emissions, you could, they could do all kinds of um, things, and they're not. They've been doing this tiny there? thing okay. and uh, and trying to make out that everything's fine, and it really isn't very far. It's very far from fine, and if we get the third runway, Londoners, the rest of the country, the climate will right. suffer greatly. Lastly, Sean, while you're with us, I want to ask you about this uh, this announcement today from uh, the government that it wants to uh, discourage the the burning of coal and and wet wood. Again, not much, but a step in the right direction. It is, and we've we've been realising in recent years, particularly in London, the damage from particle pollution, which comes from a lot of these very dirty fuels that, that are still burned in small amounts, but when they are burned, have a huge impact, particularly on very local air pollution. So from a health point of view, this is a very important new step. We do need to see no coal being burnt within areas like London. Or that sold, have a I mean, that's clean, the point. Clean it's air emergency. Sold in bags, isn't yeah. it? That's what they mean. Sean Berry, very good to see you. Thank you very Thank much you. indeed for your time.